Advanced computing applications for cloud computing, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and multi-user gaming are putting higher demands on power converters to deliver much more power in smaller form factors. Silicon-based power conversion is just not keeping pace. Due to the significant performance improvements that GAN offers, a fundamental shift in the server architecture is possible that significantly increases efficiency, shrinks size, and reduces system cost. This video looks at this shift and compares the various topology options to achieve the highest power density solution. First, let's look at the traditional server architecture shown here, which uses rack-based 48 volt isolated and regulated DC to DC converters that convert to 12 volts, then a 12 volt to point a load converter to the CPU or GPU. Due to increasing power, many server designs, especially those adopted by new hyperscale servers and the latest generation of GPU-based AI servers, are migrating from 12 volt input to 48 volts input on the server board. Let's see what this would look like. Here we see this new topology where the input of the server board is 48 volts. 48 volt input eases the distribution of high power and improves efficiency. The evolution from legacy 12 volt server racks to 48 volt racks reduces energy losses by over 30%. Additional key system level benefits for 48 volt in rack distribution are copper utilization and distribution losses. For a given power level and bus cross section, 48 volt systems reduce distribution bus losses by 94% compared to 12 volt designs. Alternatively, for a given cross section, a 40 volt distribution bus can deliver four times the power of a 12 volt system with the same bus loss. The most efficient way to convert power from 48 volts to point of load is a two stage conversion with intermediate voltages of 12 volts or maybe six volts. Next, we'll look at what topologies can be used to support this architecture shift. The most common topologies for a front end system of 48 volts to six volts or 48 volts to 12 volts are buck, switch capacitor, and LLC. In this table, we analyze the pros and cons of each the LLC and the buck have the highest power density while switch cap has the worst. The LLC and buck can meet 1700 watts per cubic inch power density versus about 500 watts per cubic inch with the switch capacitor. The buck converter enables the smallest size, lowest component count, and the lowest cost for solutions under 400 watts. However, for higher power, thermal handling and inductor size can be challenged for the buck converter. The switch cap is inexpensive and very efficient 48 to 12 volts when under 600 watts. The cons to this design is that it is much more complicated than the simple buck or LLC. Also, the switch cap has limitations at high current and as such is not really a practical solution for systems greater than 600 watts. The LLC offers the best efficiencies for power levels greater than 600 watts for both 48 volts to 12 and 48 volts to 6 volts and it is the best topology for VNV out ratios of 8 to 1 or 10 to 1. With the shift to high density space on the server board becomes extremely precious due to more and more content per board. By lowering the intermediate bus voltage from 12 volts to 6 volts, a change in technology from power MOSFETs on the secondary side of the DC to DC converter to higher density BC DMOS power stages can occur. These BC DMOS power st stages can go to higher frequencies, making the point of load smaller, and then they can be placed much closer to the GPU or CPU. This reduction in distance can reduce the resistance between the POL and the GPU or CPU by as much as 350 microohms. At 1000 amperes, that is a 350 watt reduction in losses.
There are multiple topology solutions for 48 volts to 6 volts intermediate bus. However, as we'll show, the LLC topology offers the best system efficiency and very high power density. Here are two solutions already shipping in volume using 100 volt EGAN FETs. The two modules shown from different vendors convert from 48 volts to 6 volts and are 300 watts in a super small 27 by 18 millimeter size. Both modules reach a very high power density of 1700 watts per cubic inch thanks to EGAN enabling 1 megahertz operation. Even though the 48 volt to 12 volt front end conversion is lower efficiency than 48 volt to 6 volts, it's still predominant for servers due to legacy loads that are powered from 12 volts. The latest servers and AI solutions are already requiring input power of 2 kilowatts or more. This requirement puts the switch cap topology at a severe disadvantage since switch cap solutions are really not good above 600 watts. They require a significantly larger footprint and have a higher cost. In contrast, EGAN FETs and ICs enable a small and efficient LLC converter capable of high power due to very small form factor, less losses, and 1 MHz operations. Again, at 48 volts to 12 volts, the LLC topology is the best solution for more than 600 watts and achieves more than 98% efficiency. Now let's summarize the topology choices by conversion and power level. The switch cap is inexpensive and very efficient at 48 volt to 12 volt conversion for under 600 watts, but has limitations for higher power and it's too complicated for 48 volt to 6 volt conversion. The buck is the least expensive and smallest solution for 48 to 12 volts up to about 300 watts. Both the buck and the LLC have higher power density than the switch cap. However, the LLC allows for the best efficiency for greater than 600 watts for both 48 volts to 12 volts and 48 volts to 6 volts, and it is the best topology for V and V out ratios of 8 to 1 or 10 to 1. An EGAN based LLC for a 1 kilowatt 48 volt to 6 volt or 48 volt to 12 volt converter is sized smaller than a 1 8 brick. Why GAN for 48 volts? The 48 volt input stage, regardless of topology, requires 100 volt rated devices. In comparison to silicon MOSFETs, EGAN transistors improve the key figures of merit area times on resistance by five times at 100 volts. That improvement results in smaller size and lower cost or lower RDS on in the same size. Additionally, the figure of merit RDS on times QG is also five times better than silicon, resulting in lower losses. Finally, zero reverse recovery and less switching losses allow an increase in frequency for high power density solutions. EPC offers a full family of 100 volt EGAN FETs for 48 volt conversion with ultra small size and RDS on ranging from 20 milliohms down to 3 milliohms. EPC also offers an integrated power stage including drivers, level shifters, bootstrap and half bridge FETs. This device simplifies design and reduces size. In all topologies with 48 volts input, the highest efficiency comes with using EGAN devices. For more information on EGAN FETs and ICs for high-density computing, visit epc-co.com.